Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Taurus GX4, just released. New for 2021, Taurus created a very subcompact, micro size, double stack 9mm handgun with mags that carry 11 rounds and they're calling it the GX4. They did a nice job with it. So many companies are coming out with the double stack micro size 9 millimeter pistols that it kind of makes the the single stack 9 millimeters out of fashion along with the paracord bracelet but this is taurus's edition they just released it and they priced it well msrp 392 it does come with two 9 millimeter 11 round 9 millimeter mags and an additional back strap this one's a little bit larger the smaller one is installed and it fits my average size hands really well now the grip texturing is really nice okay it steps away from the g2c g3c a little bit i'm going to show that in a bit but all throughout it has very nice texturing as well as some stippling right there for the weak side thumb as, as well as the other side okay where we rest our finger when not shooting but some features here are really nice i want to go through that we'll start with the beveled slide nice for drawing out of a holster and reinserting we can see a little bit from this side drift adjustable black serrated rear sight and a pinned in front dot as well as a sight hole indicator for the loaded rounds it does have front serrations for the press checks and a great feeling gun now the trigger is very different it, it steps away from the g2c the g3c because it is a flat face trigger it does have a serrated trigger bar safety in there but when pulling the trigger i am measuring it consistently at five and a quarter pounds with a short reset right there for the follow-up shots with the mag inserted you're looking at a two finger contact but they kept it small and very lightweight i think i mentioned a three inch barrel and the the once again the grip feels great now a lot of people are wondering how does that align with the very popular g3c well here it is now this is also a subcompact handgun this carries 12 rounds but the slide is a bit longer with the g3c all right close to a half inch maybe not not that much but a little bit shorter with the GX4 on the left. All right, one additional round here. I'm going to do a more detailed side by side comparison in the future. But I did take it to the range. It fed, fired, ejected every round that I, I sent through it. Let's go ahead and check out some of that footage. We're going to come back. We're going to weigh it, both loaded, unloaded, show the disassemble process that's a little bit different. And then we're going to compare it with some other. It's very small double stack 9mm handguns. Let's see if a round will chamber by slamming the mag home. And it does not. How about a limperous test? Pretty good. Nice. GX4 passed. Looking at the bottom of the grip on the GX4, you can see that there's a recess in there that allows the shooter to manually remove the mag if dirt or grime gets in there that holds it up. I will mention, however, the magazine deployment is pretty strong. Looking at the branding, you can see the Taurus logo on the grip right at the bottom there as well as the back plate on the slide it's a good looking handgun let's go ahead and get it on the scale I've been saying how lightweight it is and we'll go ahead and check that out right now here we have an unloaded GX4 
We're looking at 18 and three quarters. Let's put a loaded bag in there with 11 rounds. We're looking at 23 and a quarter. Here's your carry round. You're looking at 23 and three quarters ounces. So it is very light, under 25 ounces CCW. That's pretty good. We'll go ahead and put the unloaded mag in there. Now let's compare it with the Springfield Hellcat. Give a size comparison of these small small 9mm handguns, double stack mags. We'll look at the slide length, just a hair shorter with the GX4. And the grip length looks, looks pretty identical to me. How about the Ruger Max 9? GX4 on the right, Ruger Max 9. We'll look at the slide length once again just a just a little bit shorter with the GX4 and just a little bit shorter on the grip. You're looking at two finger contact, but I want to show the disassemble because this process steps away from the GX3. I'm going to need that round there. You'll see that it has that dial right there, sort of a flathead screwdriver cutout. What we're going to do, I already checked clear, but I'll do it again. Pull the trigger and take a case or something similar, put it in there and rotate it upward. And that will release the slide from the frame. It's a real easy process. Polymer frame, extremely light. Over here we're looking at a dual recoil spring and a steel guide rod and the three inch barrel. Very well machined slide. And I think they did a nice job with it. At the range, it, it fed, fired, ejected everything I threw at it. And I was happy with the way that performed. When reassembling, all you have to do is to move that dial back, all you have to do is charge the slide, and that will put it right back into the more locking position. Of course, it doesn't lock, but that's that uh, slide won't come flying off on you once that is up and down like that. But they did a nice job with the GX4. I think Taurus has a winner here. I think they priced it right. I think they, they created what a lot of shooters want now, and that's higher capacity compared to the double stack. Will it be as, or compared to the single stack, I should say, will it be as popular as the G3C or the G2C? I'm not sure. This is very popular. Flying off the shelves. But they made the GX4 smaller. It carries 11 rounds opposed to 12 and they made it lighter and I think a lot of people like that pocket carriers You'll have to decide Personally, I'd holster it But I know a lot of people love the pocket carry and they don't think twice about something like this So once again a micro size striker fire polymer frame 9 millimeter handgun the Taurus just released called the GX4 I think they did a nice job. It's a good-looking pistol and it's pretty reliable at the range I had no issues at all. We'll see time will tell but I think this is going to be a big hit. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.